Hi guys, this is yours truly, Angel from Angel's Real Life. I just finished installing my wig that I'll be wearing for a few days, maybe even a few weeks, I don't know. It is a human hair wig that I ordered from Amazon. I think I only paid no more than $60, $70. I, it was definitely less than $100. I'm loving this wig. I'm loving this curls. Uh, this is the wig you'll see me in throughout this vlog. Um, so I did get this from Amazon. There you go. This is the wig. Um, the wig is nice. It's soft. It holds curls. It's deep curl. It's a T-wave wig. I mean a T um, lace wig, which means there's only lace in the middle part and uh, around the front. You can wear it in different styles. Here's how I chose to wear mine without the baby hairs. Now let's get into this vlog. <clears throat> Good morning, guys. <sighs> it's like 7.15 in the morning. Um, it feels good outside. It feels like it might be in the 60s. Probably um, high 50s, but I came out here to do some grounding. The grass is still wet. The sun is coming up. And, um, you know, just get some spirit. Um, you know, some info from spirit on how I should conduct my day. I'm going to show you guys this beautiful view. There's the sun coming up, peeking through the trees. It's my backyard. I'm on the river in Oak Dock. I actually want to stand here in the grass. It's nice and cool to do some grounding. Ooh. Yeah. So it's, it's so cool. I'm only going to stand here for about 60 seconds. time to go sit on the boat dock because I have to get my son ready for school. But there's the sunrise right there. So grounding helps you recharge. Sometimes you just need to recharge. Nice little coconuts. So guys, this is my hair after I let it dry, I combed it out and now I'm going to go ahead out and start shopping and I'll bring you along. What's up guys? It is later on in the same day and I am headed to Home Depot because I lost all of the keys in my house that, um, all the keys in my house that unlock the doors for the inside, like if you go into the bedroom, the bathroom or what have you. Well, I didn't lose them. Either the kids or my husband did. So I have to go. I was going to order them on Amazon. But Amazon is taking too long. I guess we're entering into that holiday season where Amazon is like everybody is starting to do a lot of shopping, Christmas shopping and what have you. So I'm just going to run over to Home Depot. <clears throat> See if they got it. How do you like my press on nails? I got to tell y'all, girl. 
the nail lady got mad because I got press-ons. I brought my own press-ons. Um, I have a fingernail that needs to heal because I've been wearing acrylic so long and um, they don't like, sometimes they don't like to soak it off because they want to move fast for speed. But I made them soak them off and put press-ons on because I want my nails to get thicker. I want them to heal. And she was offended first that I wanted them to soak off and not have her rip them off. Like, please. Now, this is not um, one of my normal salons, but, you know, my both of my salons that I go to were booked. So I went to this random salon, and they were offended that I wanted to soak my nails. No, ma'am, you're not going to rip off my nail beds. So I got that done, and then these are the end result of my press-ons. They've been on since, I want to say Saturday. She had glue all over my fingers. I should have recorded. I should have recorded. But anyway, how are you guys liking my hair? You know, just the natural look. And um, so let's go to Home Depot and see if we can find what I need. And then let's see if I can find some breakfast. That smile is gorgeous, guys. I'm back feeling myself since I had that surgery. If you want to know the outcome of that surgery, just look at the last vlog. But I'm back feeling myself. And um, please, please, guys, pray for my dad. My dad is having heart surgery today. My dad is having heart surgery. So I need the love and light energy. Send some Reiki energy healing to him. And... Um, you know, I'll keep you posted, but I'm going to go ahead and get over here. I'll see you guys at Home Depot. All right. Guess what? Home Depot didn't have what I need. So I'm back on Amazon and I ended up having to get um, the key to the doors from Amazon because I thought Home Depot would have it. Did not have it. So anyway, it's only $3.99. So I just went really quickly to my Amazon account, ordered what I need and um it's supposed to be here by sunday hopefully it'll come earlier and um now i'm gonna go ahead and shop at target all right guys so as you can see i i am back in the car they did not have what i want at home depot i went ahead and ordered it off the internet so i i, I think i stuck it in this video if not you'll see where I end up going on Amazon, ordering the door, and now I'm about to order in the door, ordering the door key. Now I'm about to head into Target and see what they got. Home Depot, boy, I swear it was a bunch of guys in there. If you single, boy, Home Home Depot is the place to be because I think uh, I got approached by so many men at Home Depot. <laughs> But I had to keep it moving. I'm, she married. She married. She ain't looking for nobody. But <laughs> uh, when I am looking for somebody, or if I ever have to look for somebody again, I guess I need to go to Home Depot and act lost. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me go on Target and see what they got. And I'll maybe I'll bring you guys along. We'll see.
this is the part where I would normally tell you to enjoy the music, but I don't want to get copyrighted. I mean, they copyright even the most lamest music ever. So enjoy the sounds of the shopping cart. Clickety, clickety, clackety, clackety, clack. Uh, but I'm bringing you along. Don't say I, tr I didn't try. So hopefully you don't lose interest in the sound of the clackety, clack, clack, clack of the Target shopping cart doesn't get copyrighted because it is a noise that I made with the shopping cart. <laughs> So I'm actually shopping for cereal. You guys didn't see me when I went down the rug aisle, but I did get a big black throw rug. Um, now I'm just shopping for some cereal. I'm gonna treat myself to this sugary cereal. Uh, I don't really need Reese's cereal, but you know, I had a taste for it. So I got it. And then I thought about this cereal right here, Frosted Flakes. And I said, you know what, since I got Reese's cereal, let me put the Frosty Flakes back and get Raisin Bran, which is more healthier, um, you know, but that same kind of feel of Frosted Flakes. So I did make one good choice of cereal, I guess. Um, I have a little bit of a milk allergy. When I tell you milk, uh, makes me go to the bathroom. So I ended up getting some almond milk for myself. Protein milk. I'm sorry guys, I'm putting stuff down and putting stuff away while I'm talking, uh, doing this voiceover. But I ended up getting some vanilla almond milk, which is safer for my tummy. And then I got the kids some 2% fat-free milk so that if they decided they wanted some cereal, they could eat their milk that they like you know that milk comes from the cow the almond milk comes from the earth and um, it's better for my stomach so um that's what i ended up doing so i picked up a few more items like some plastic spoons and things like that oh yeah i did get ice cream for the kids um i saw my favorite ice cream in there but i left it there because I am trying to do somewhat better. Um, but Talente salted caramel, which is a, uh, it's probably six to 700 calories. That's why it's so delicious, but I left it right there in the store. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Uh, pat on the back for that good decision. And now I'm just gonna go ahead, head out to check out. So enjoy the rest of this shopping experience and I'll be back with you in the next scene. All right, so you guys went in Target with me. I haven't been in Target in so long that I felt lost. Um, I just really felt lost. You had to re reorient myself. And got what I needed. So you guys saw what I got. Cereal, things like that. I'm off today. I'm gonna actually go home and eat some cereal. <laughs> so I'm not cooking. She's not cooking today. <laughs> so i might end up going to the car wash my car has been parked in the garage for um a few weeks this is my first time driving this one in a few weeks so i am probably going to end up going to the car wash uh, just to clean it up and make her look nice and make her look nice that's what I'm going to do. Now how do I get out of here? I'm going to assume it this way. Guys, the weather is so nice. It's a nice, cool 73 degrees. Nice 73. So, check in with you later. I'm going to go home. Um, 
watch some movies. Probably get my husband to watch my car. I just said in, in the same sentence that I was gonna watch my car. Now I'm like, ah, my husband need to watch my car. So. Alright guys, it's Angel with her husband and we're going to do a hike today. So, we got to go pay for our admission and then we're going to go on this nature hike and bring you along. My husband acting a little scared. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. I'm, that's why I brought him because I'm a little scared but I wanted to go. So we're actually in the museum right now. I think this little guy was actually caught somewhere near here. Turkey? Is something supposed to be in here? Oh, no fish. Is this for real? Oh, so this was a real Alec, I mean turtle. This is what a garfish looks like. So this is a garfish right here. All right, babe, you ready to do the trail? That. That turtle right there was a real turtle. Is this, what is this? Do we get the cup over here? Oh no, that's a boy. Oh, that's These, you know these are real animals that they call from around here. And preserve. They got coyotes in. Yeah. And they told me. I don't think they're going to do mine. These are crazy. They used to hunt those where I came from. Mm -hmm. And have pig, pig things. What do they call it? Barbecues? Wild pigs. Mm -hmm. oh. It's one inside the thing. Mm -hmm. What is that? Cheese? Apples. They eat apples. This is the Florida bear. This is a real bear. 
that they have preserved. Rattlesnake. Okay. Okay. They're about, about a year old. What to say it is? That's a Florida panther. That's what a panther. Not to me. A panther looks different. It's a Florida panther. That's how the ones in Florida look. Okay. You want to go in here with the poisonous snakes? <laughs> I don't know if I want to be in here. Yeah. Babe, why you had to come in this one? Also, this is the skeleton of a snake. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> is one in here? Mm, yeah. I see that one. But you got to watch out for the ones you don't see. Look at the snake skins on top of all of them. This one ain't poisonous. This one is camouflage. Oh, this is a boa. I did not know they had snakes in here. Ooh. Oh, I'm so thoroughly disgusted. Oh, there's two snakes in here. Oh, I didn't see that one, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just saw another head. Now, the coral snake is poisonous. I don't see him. He, that there, if you touch it, it's poisonous. But I don't know. He hiding in there somewhere, and I ain't gonna look for him. Corn snake is in here. They, right there. Right there. Where? Right there. Underneath there? Yeah, right there. That white thing? Yeah. Okay. Let him stay right there. My heart beating a little bit. Oh, they go to chameleon right there. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Right here. Oh, look, look. It's a snake in here. Oh, an alligator. Is that a snake? His name is Midas. He's about 34 years old. He's about six feet long. It's a non-venomous, okay? And see, it's uh, like, for example, you're a snake, that's like a lizard. Oh, look, they're behind you. Oh, that's a poisonous snake right there. That's a cottonmouth. But that one is a non-venomous, and this one is a non-venomous. And here we got the uh, rattlesnake up here, which, uh, of course, a venom. But that one... That oh, he in the back. The rattlesnake. Oh, wow. like, what they do is they fold it like a knife. You know how you close the back of a knife? Yeah. yeah. Then they wrap around them and then they eat the head first and they come mm -hmm. down and there's nothing oh, left. Nice. Oh, my word. And also, they also kill this one. Here. The water oh, moccasin. Oh, he's back there. Yeah. Yes. It's a her. Oh, the water moccasin. Oh, yeah. She's back there. What's her name? Uh, I don't remember. No, because uh, there's all these animals got different names. But, yeah. Uh, I know, I know she's eight years old, though. Eighty years old? Eight. 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 Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say, no, 80 years old is the big turtle that's down there. Oh. It's about that big. It's about 80 years old in his belly. Did you see in the blue box? They, oh, they have a, a kind of look like a yellowish color. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I'm going to say. <laughs> Her name is Juanita, and she's 96 years old. Oh, wow. Yes, ma'am. And the only reason why I know because they're not going to hear that much of other things, but you have to tell you, you know, when the direction is, it's going to us real quick. And then later on, then I, I stick around the uh, animal. animal. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's um, the king's name. Well, it really helps for you to tell us because we don't know what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, uh, I don't know, first of all, I'm going to tell you this. I don't know if it's true or not, but if she's alive, then I'll tell her alive. 
three years ago. But this one, there was a little lock different. They all right, guys, we're in the butterfly garden. There we go. I'm trying to get one. I got butterflies on my wall in the house. I love butterflies and what they stand for. There's one up there over your head. This is not a log. This is one lizard on top of the other. See him moving? I'm finna move because he look like he want to spit on us. They got real eagles out here. Wow, look at this eagle. It's another one. It's another eagle in here too. Oh, that's a bald eagle. According to the thing. This is a vulture. The black vulture. Hey man, you, you don't feel scared? Dealing Pro with these animals like probably that? Probably not. How about these guys? With the eagles, uh, you know, I gotta just watch out, but they're still dead. Now, these are the ones that, like, when they smell something dead, they fly around and no, eat them? these are black vultures. Um, the turkey vulture is the one you're talking about, and we just... Okay, guys, this here is the owl. He's just staring. I wonder what's in the other cage. I mean, this is just like the zoo. Okay. Hi guys. So my husband and I are heading for the trails. You know what? If you come across an animal, I got my little I gotta stand. I gotta stand my ground. <laughs> For real. No, no, no. Because in the animal planet, I learned that in the, in the TV. So I'm going hiking with my husband. This is our first time going hiking with my husband. And this is our first time at this place. It reminds me of the Naples Zoo, except the only difference is is that it's more nature and they got one part that's not open yet but will be opening in december and so they said they're gonna have one where you come out here at night december 5th at 6 p.m that might be something interesting to do with a group all right guys so i'm gonna get off of here i'm gonna enjoy this walking with my husband if i see something interesting i'll bring you guys back come on this is what she wearing <laughs> but you look so funny hey come on there's a bear behind you fuck that bear <laughs> You be, you be like, get your ass. <laughs> that back gonna get, get shot. <laughs> they closed it. They gotta they close the boardwalk. This is beautiful. I can imagine if you go early in the morning. When it is cool. Oh, what we coming across a teepee?
<laughs> you better stop playing games. <laughs> we out here in the woods and you want to play. Michael Myers going to get your ass. <laughs> I am Michael Myers. Michael Myers. <laughs> that little walk made you hungry. What you talking about, but we ain't at no end. <laughs> oh. You wanna see power? <laughs> she big. That's what I'm saying. I said Yeah, they asked for it. We ain't need no tour we young. All right, guys, so my husband and I just finished the trail. Overall, I liked it, I really did. Um, it's similar to a zoo. It's similar to a zoo. They have a museum. I think it's a great place to bring kids. Great place for a date with your husband. Probably even a, first, a great first date if you're a woman and you want to act scared and hold on to your man. Yeah, so I enjoyed it. My husband loves nature. He watched all the nature shows and everything. So I'll give it a five star.